I'm Tim Klink with MasterTech. I'm the CEO and founder of the company in 1997 out of Elkhart, Indiana. We have become America's largest independent service center in the nation. We are the number one rated by all of our customers. We have over 200,000 customers since the foundation of the company. I've been actually in the RV industry ever since about eight years old. We grew up on a resort marina in Minnesota. We had 22 campsites, four cabins, and a marina. And that's where the foundation of my company, or the, the foundation of experience, came into play when we started buying rental motor or motor homes that were damaged, my father and family, and then we would renovate them, we would fix them up from collision state, and we ended up with 10 rental motor homes in five years. To where my parents all of a sudden said, we want to do this full time. And that's where the chaos began. <laughs> but anyways, um, can everybody hear okay? Okay, so um, long time short, I was from, originally from Minnesota and uh, moved down to Elkhart, Indiana. With I met my future wife, Kathy, and she's from Elkhart. So here I am, um, 25 years later, still in Elkhart and uh, with the largest service center. And uh, has anybody done business with us in the past? Nobody yet? Okay, not here? That's unusual because we have a great following in the RV industry. People come from, uh, to see us from California, Florida, Texas, Canada, and everywhere in between. We have the foundation of service is the only thing we do. We're not selling RVs. We don't really care about the RVs in the selling. We care about the customer support in the end. The manufacturers support in the end. We represent manufacturers such as Tiffin, Newmar, and about everybody else in between as a backup for the service in the industry. Any customer that has a problem with a coach that cannot be solved, we don't have a problem working with the manufacturer to solve the problem. We tend to experience problems or situations that are unsolvable by anybody else. We have a great support staff from paint, body, collision, renovations, customizing, and every bit of service in between. We are a one-stop shop, and that's what we love because people come to us usually one time a year, we fix their little laundry list, whether it's extended warranty, insurance, or customer pay, or anywhere, anywhere else, and the customer's back on the road. They save their little laundry list, and we go above and beyond to basically take care of everything that the customer needs. So in 1997, I started this little thing called RV renovation. Everybody else before that, it was always 95 cents a gallon fuel, and you know there were the gas, there was just the beginning of the diesels, and everybody was like, if you want a new motorhome, gotta buy a new one. If you want a new looking one, you gotta buy a new one. If you want new floors, just go buy a new one. And that was the mentality of a throwaway mentality. But there were a lot of good manufacturers that were out there from Country Coach to Beaver and, and Monaco Coaches and Newmar Coaches. We were a huge Newmar dealer. When I came to Elkhart, I actually ran Heart City RV, the largest Newmar dealer in the nation. And we had the foundation of taking care of the customers and making the customer not have problems so they can enjoy the lifestyle. When I go to a campground, I want to hear everybody talking about their grandkids, where they traveled to, where they want to travel to, not the problems that they have. Okay? So what we're here to talk about today is RV renovation and customizing. Making the coach your own. And so there's a lot of time, the number one thing in the industry that a lot of people do not like is the floorings. The manufacturers tend to take that little step back and say, um, we can't afford any more than a buck a square foot, you know? And that does not, that does not stay together. It does not provide a good foundation of the floors in the coach, in the lifestyle that everybody lives. We could be up in Canada where it could be below freezing or Minnesota, and then we could be down in Florida, Texas, anywhere in between. Oh, 
down in Texas freezing, that is, or anywhere else. An RV experiences such a dramatic climate change, not only where they're manufactured, and that's where manufacturers kind of leave off that. They don't, they don't look at that avenue. All they do is put the coaches together. They got a 12 month warranty when they sell. If there's a problem, they'll put some lipstick on it, make it satisfactory for that one year, and it's not their problem anymore. However, we have some good quality recreational vehicles out there in the industry that will drive the wheels off these things. You know, we want to see RVs with 100,000, 200,000 plus miles on these things. But in order to do that, we have to be able to provide the bones that that motorhome can sustain. In other words, the livability. When we're at a campground and we open it up and it's raining out, what are we going to do, guys? You know, we have to have floorings that provide wet support. So when we brought to the industry a product called Carandian Flooring, that is our number one vinyl type flooring. And again, we do everything from porcelain, granite, and everything in between too. But we wanted to bring an ultralight product to the industry to provide weight issues. Because when the gas or diesel was 95 cents a gallon, we didn't worry about it. I'd have customers just drive on a weekend from Chicago to say hi, you know? So when we brought out Carndy and Florin to the industry, and it was one of our customers, our future customers, uh, Jason and Nikki Wins, I don't know if anybody you know, the blogging site on it, okay? They approached us and said, Tim, we want to provide, or we want a manufacturer to build, and it was Fleetwood, a coach that is hip, sustainable, eco-friendly, but it works in all of our environments. What do we need? So we sat down and we basically said, okay, Carndian flooring and this is why. The Carndian flooring is almost a quarter inch thick. And what makes it unique for RVs is it is sustainable. It is dimensionally stable, whether you're in freezing to warm. And we all know, yes, we're not camping when it's freezing, but in the event that it is, you're in Texas and your heating system goes out, your coach is gonna freeze. So when you look at flooring manufacturers, the number one thing on the flooring usually is per, bring your flooring into a vehicle or into your house or the, the room that is gonna be installed and let it accumulate for 48 hours. Why do this, what does accumulate mean? We, so it becomes dimension, becomes, so it becomes stable to the environment prior to installation. Therefore, if you look at a lot of people's flooring and a lot of manufacturers flooring, you'll see gaps and seams and spaces in between the vinyl flooring. Okay? The stuff isn't the cheapest, but it is the best. And what is unique by us is we put this down with a proprietary adhesive that we came to the industry many, many decades ago, and physically it stays down. You can run slide outs over the top of it. You can hit this with a hammer and it doesn't damage. That's how durability is. But yet when you walk across it, it's got a little cush to it. Is it glued down? It is 100% glued down. Yes, it is. And what we have this everywhere in between large format tiles, like this, so you get that big look. And the one thing nice about this product is in this particular color, there's a hundred plus different patterns to this product. So when you actually install or when it's installed in your coach, it is changing. It looks like it's a natural floor. It looks like natural stone, high quality, looks like tile, okay? And then of course we have our wood grains, which kind of give it that effect of a wood pattern. When you walk across it, it feels like wood, but it's got the durability of high-end tile, okay? This doesn't become slippery. And the unique thing about this is, I mean, it's just physically, it's just amazing in a coach. We can do it diagonally, we can do a offset, we can do a quarter offset, we can do all different things on it. 
A lot of the Prevos and stuff, we'll put this around a coach, but then we'll put another pattern in the middle just because they want that custom look. So there's a lot of variations that we can do with this product, but yet this product does not weigh any more than carpet within a coach. You're talking two pounds a square foot. So if you got, yes ma'am? Did you have something? Okay, okay. So if you have a coach that's got porcelain in it, granite in it, tile, things of that nature, you're talking about 10 pounds a square foot installed is the average weight of that. So by putting a lighter product in it, it's gonna take some weight off the tires, the suspension, and of course, provide maybe a little bit of fuel economy as well. Okay? Move, any other questions regarding vinyl floor or porcelain floor or anything like that right now? Okay. Slide outs too. We do slide outs as well. We do have options where we can do vinyl within the slide out. Again, we, have, we meet the requirements of what our customers demand. And some customers like, I don't want any carpeting in the coach, nothing at all. Okay. So yeah, there's one there that's got it in the slide out. Okay. So there's another product which I don't see here right this second, Infinity. Oh, that's okay. Anyways, you can look at it at our booth. We, yes, ma'am? Yes, we can put radiant heat underneath it. So we actually do the radiant heat strips, which is formatted to the coach in different bands, which provides you know, heat to your feet when you're walking on it. Can you get the rest of the stuff out of there, please? Yes? Clean with just regular spray, spray flooring cleaner. It's real simple to clean. And if you have something where you need it to remove, you spill something, you just, it's very simple. 409, any of that kind of stuff will work just perfectly fine. And many of different alternatives where, where it's, what do you call them, eco-friendly detergents as well, they're all dimensionally stable. So it's got the highest wear factor of any vinyl flooring that we've seen. So this product is typically installed in commercial environments or high-end homes or regular RVs, things that take a lot of wear and tear, period. Okay? So moving on from there, there are some areas and some people that definitely like carpeting in certain areas. And we get those people where they're like, I want to see, I want to see carpeting in back here. When I get out of bed in the morning, I want to step on carpet. I like to feel it in my toes. You're perfectly fine to have that. So what we brought to the industry is a carpet that has got a sealed back to it. If you look at the back, it's actually got a PVC or a fleece back depending on the line. This has actually got a sealed back to it. What does that do, guys? What that does is, of course, in an RV, even in a house, you're gonna get sand that might come in through your toes, through your shoes, that one walk to the bedroom to get that one purse that you forgot, or whatever, you might have a little something on your feet. So the problem with carpeting is when it's not sealed in the back, the sand goes into the carpeting, it goes down to the pad and becomes abrasive, becomes sandpaper. And when the jute wears off in the back is when the carpeting starts feeling bad. You've all had the times where you go to shampoo carpeting in a house or a recreational vehicle and it comes out awesome to then a week later you look at all the spots again. Why is that? Because the carpeting does not have a sealed back to it. We not only do the sealed back carpetings, but we also do a stain master pad, which has got a plastic membrane on the top of it that keeps the product above any sand or debris. If it would happen to even get through, it keeps it above. With the plastic here, this is a moisture barrier. What does moisture barrier mean? If you spill water on it, it will not go through it, okay? So again, what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to su supply and install the best products for your lifestyle requirements. When we go and put carpeting down in the event that we do, 
Everything is put down with tack strip. We do not just kick it to the corner and staple through padding like some of the manufacturers do. And most of the manufacturers, when they're putting down carpeting, they don't even have walls on yet. So they're able to pull it and taunt it and then set all the cabinetry on top of it. We want to provide a full professional installation that is the demand of our customers. And what it does is it stays nice and tight, it doesn't become loose, and it looks fantastic for the whole time in the entire RV experience and lifestyle. When we put in vinyl floors and or tile floors, if we need moldings around the edges, as I said, you know, manufacturers put the floor in, they set the walls on top of the floor, and then they put the roof on. Yes, we can take out walls, but it does not, it is not a requirement for doing flooring because it would not meet your budget requirements. Okay, so in the event that we do need moldings, maybe it is a higher, a little different height change or something of that nature. We use only solid wood moldings that are designed and cut in our wood shop, whether it's maple, whether it's cherry, whether it's oak, or any color in between, and then stain matched to your cabinetry. So when you get done, it looks as good or better than a manufacturer. Okay? Any other questions on flooring? Nothing yet? Okay. So moving on, how many of you got MCD shades or day-night shades in your coaches? Do we know what a day-night shade is? Do we have a sample here, Austin? Oh, shoot. <laughs> so we are America's number one MCD dealer for installation of aftermarket shades in RVs. We not only sell them, but we service them. We have a huge parts inventory of MCD shades as well as hydronic heating for the recreational vehicles. Same day shipping on 99% of the products and MCD shades is what I consider the premier day night shade in the industry. It's you got a black shade which is a screen and then you got a night shade which is a solid. And what it does is when it allows you to do, those of you who don't have them, is it replaces the blinds, which we call toilet paper. Okay, you get in an RV, it's like going to prison sometimes, okay? You want wall space, you want dimensional, you want the coach to look huge. And the only way you can do that is through windows and being able to see out them. The nice thing about the day-night shades, it allows you to see out, but people can't see in until night. And then the office will call upon you if you don't pull down your night shades. Because everybody in America will see you from the outside in, okay? The nice thing about MCD shades, it provides you the ultimate heat retention regarding on the inside of your coach, as well as keeping the sun and the sun's heat outside your coach. The day-night shade that goes up in the front windshield, what is the benefits of that? It provides you an eight-foot visor across the width of the coach. Therefore, when you go down the road, people who have MCD shades don't have to wear a ball cap to turn it to block the sun. So you can bring down your visor to a safe distance. The visor actually blocks, the visor actually blocks all of, we got a, something going on here. The visor blocks the sun so you can physically drive and be able to see the road instead of having to fool around with a little visor this big in an eight foot cockpit. Okay? When we put them on the side, of course, that would be a side cockpit shade, so you can have it down, but yet you can see through it. We don't recommend pulling it down too far, but it's able to be able to be done either electrically or by manually pull up or down. Front windshield shades are always electric by switches. So you had a question back there? They, re they keep the heat out from the sun. So the hotter temperature, they block 10 degrees. But at nighttime, when it's physically heating inside the coach, it does the reverse effect. 
It's physically holding the heat a little more in. Obviously, if you pull up any blind or whatever on the inside and you got glass exposed right there, it's gonna physically allow more heat to go out your windows through the panes of glass. But being able to provide a thermal barrier, it allows more heat to stay within the coach. But yet, at, at the, during the daytime, it's actually keeping the heat out and keeping the cool in if you have the ACs on. So it works multi-purpose. So, yes, sir? I believe they work better, and as we all get younger in age, the outside screens tend to be a little um, cumbersome to put on and off. It's fine at a certain time in the life, but the problem with it is when you have an outside shade and it's raining in the morning and you got to go, you got to put it somewhere. When you got them all on the inside, you don't have to worry about the wind, the water, the dirt, nothing. It's all ultimate. You push buttons, they go up, you're ready to go. If you want to be ultimate lazy and push one button and have them all electric, they'll all go up electronically at one time, day, night, and night time. So it is really a nice feature for, you know, livability within a coach. Okay, any other questions on that? Okay, next step. Um, as far as us, like I said, we are a full customization service. So if you have a coach that maybe you want an aqua hot in, a hydronic heating system, we do that. If you want Wi-Fi, parameters, we do that. If you want satellite options, we do that. If you want new cabinetry, customizing, removing the old TV sets. How many of you have older TV sets still? The bigger? No? Pretty much everybody's gone already. They've gone cheap enough that everybody puts them in. However, a lot of people don't realize that when the TV sets are just hanging on walls and hanging on pins and things of that nature or bungee cords, they're not exactly safe for driving down the roads. So we provide DOT compliant TV sets, meaning that it's got three attachment points driving down the road. So when you got a 65 inch TV up between your ears, both of you, you're gonna be safe if anything should happen. One thing we brought to the industry as of this year is safe run flats. Does everybody know what a run flat is? You heard them on cars. It basically, you can drive with a flat tire for a certain amount of time. And what it was made to do is to get off the road safely. However, most run flat tires are built into the tires themselves. And therefore, when you get to your repair shop because you didn't know it was flat, because you weren't monitoring your, your tire monitoring system. I don't know what's going on here. It could be power or something. But what it does is it allows you, a run flat system allows you to be able to drive cons down the road an average of at least 30 miles at 30 miles an hour with or without a piece of rubber around the rim. That is what is unique about our run flat. Ours is all military grade. It was developed for our military and for surveillance type vehicles from Brinks trucks to police, fire, EMT, all that stuff. Um, Secret Service has them on. I've got a guy from the Marines, he says, you know what, he says, I said, how long can you realistically drive on those? He says, I've had guys drive a thousand miles on them across in the trucks over in war. You get a flat tire, you gotta go. So, the, of course, military tires are a little more robust than some of the RV tires, okay? So, these are also from the rock industry. So, if rock crawlers, where they put bead locks on, you can actually pop a tire and that insert actually stays in. The unique part about our run flat system is it has a bearing and a hub. Unlike the first company that came out that had problems with them, it was basically a piece of plastic that clamshelled around an aluminum rim. Therefore, there was no wear factor around aluminum to plastic. That's why they said if you had a flat, pull over the side of the road and call a tow truck, call a tire truck. However, when is it convenient to get a flat tire, guys? 
It's never. You're going through Chicago. You just pulled off on the interstate. Whatever reason, you just got filled up with fuel. All of a sudden, your tire management system goes off. What are you going to do? Sometimes you just need to pull to a safe area. Our run plat system is the same price as the original one that came out that failed, the clamshell one, but it allows you to be able to travel with or without a tire for at least 30 miles is what they average, what they, what they recommend. So 30 miles at 30 miles an hour, I know that would be a long time, but sometimes if you can just make it that 1,000 feet or 2,500 feet without messing up your rim, it is such a blessing. Because 99% of the tires that do fail out there messes up the rim. So then you're wanting to go to point A to point B. Maybe you were able to, survive, to save it and save it on the, marine, on, the, on the highway without going off, but now the rim is damaged underneath. So now we need to find a rim for you and a tire for you. Versus when you have a run flat system like this, you don't have to worry about it. They put a new tire on and you're good to go. Okay? This system here runs 4,000 for the front end of a Class A motorhome installed. Okay? Any other questions on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually a buddy of mine from Florida sent me that picture of the Monaco laying in a ravine he came across with the tow vehicle beside it. And what you got to look at is in the event of a flat tire or a blowout, that rim is going down to the ground. Now you have basically two rudders being into the asphalt. And as you can see, I'm sure you've all seen them driving across the highway. You see the truck off the road in the Meridian. You see RVs the same way. And I've had people, this guy here had tires that were two years old. It can just happen for whatever reason. And maybe some of the reason is weight limits are pushed at some points on RVs. Sometimes people pack their entire house within an RV, you know? We all get, we all get belongings, you know, so try and stay safe out there. Tire monitoring systems for pressure is a real good peace of mind. Um, whether it's a Silverleaf electronic system or some other brands, um, it really does work nice. If you do have a tire monitoring system, whether or not it's in the wheel or out of the wheel, our system is designed for that as well. So it works with all the new Mars and any, any other brand of vehicle that you have. One thing unique that we brought to the industry is we have to design every one to the rim. So once we have the rim number, we can produce any number of them. But the RV industry has never documented what rims go on what coaches in what years, etc. Okay? So trucking industry was a little more heads up on that. Military was a little more heads up on. RV is like whatever we can get, we put on. Okay, so we're dealing with some of those challenges, but we will take every coach one by one and make sure you all stay safe out there. Okay? Yes? That's for the front two steer tires. You don't need them on the back unless you're overseas. Okay? Yes. Okay, any other questions so far? Safety, how many of you guys have fire extinguishers in the coach? Coaches, please have fire extinguishers. How many have water-based fire extinguishers versus the chemical fire extinguishers? Okay, so the difference between the two, this is a water base, okay? It does say don't freeze, okay? And the only reason why they say don't freeze is not that it's gonna blow up. It's just that if it's frozen, it's not gonna spray, obviously. So, in the event that you have anything going on with your coach, whether or not it's fire, refrigerator fire, a brake fire, insulation, the